Hey everybody, this is Troy with eBuzz Central. Today I'm taking a look at Pair OS. It's definitely different. But before we get started, please don't forget to like and subscribe or follow my channel. It doesn't cost anything. And at the end of the day, if you don't like me, you can always unsubscribe. And if you're interested in following me on my socials, or better yet, becoming a patron to the channel, those links are down below. Pair OS, we're looking at the newest version about this Parentosh. It pops up. It says it is ParaOS Thixer 11.1.0. Processor doesn't give it to you. Memory is 1.93 gigabytes. That's what I've got issued here in the virtual box. I'm going to go ahead and close that. Let's open up to their website. When you open to their website, the web browser that is included with this distribution is Epiphany. You open it up. They've given it a definite Safari feel to it. And you can scroll through here. It says download stable version. They've got Pair OS Catalina, Pair OS Cupertino, and then the beta site. We're actually looking at Pair OS Thick Sir. You've got Pair OS, you've got bugs, you've got system requirements, how to install, links, support. I think everybody looking at this knows what they're trying to do. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of this. And if you look, you've got a top panel, you've got date and time, you got your notifications, you've got search, you got your internet, battery, sound settings, and control center under the penguin head. That's actually kind of pretty. I like that. And close out of that. And then on the desktop, you've got install pair OS thick sir. Down on the bottom, you've got a dock that's lagging a little bit, but it may be because I've only got two gigabytes of RAM issued to this virtual machine. You've got downloads, you've got system settings. Let's go ahead and take a look at system settings. Your system settings come up. You've got appearance. You can go up to appearance, click on it. You've got global theme, application style. Right now we're on the Pair OS theme. You could go Pair OS dark. Let's go ahead and pick that and apply. So this is obviously a highly customized version of a KDE theme in Pair OS, but you got global theme, application style, plasma theme, colors, your regular KDE settings over here on the left. So we shall close out of that. Then you've got the Pair Store. Let's open that up and see what we're looking at there. Okay, the theme just switched from dark to light. Don't know why that happened. Maybe it's because I'm running it in a virtual machine. But anyway, seeing how it's based on Ubuntu, this was pretty much what I was expecting in the application store. You can go over here. You can explore. You've got Discord. You've got Telegram, Inkscape. You've got a lot of your popular applications right there. Or you can go down and look for them by categories, audio and video. You've got Play It Slowly, Audacious. OBS is right down here. I'm sure they probably got Caden Live. Pretty much all the Linux apps that you're happy with and you're used to, you can find them right here. So let's go ahead and close out of that. You've got the G Patter, you've got P Tunes, you got Pair TV, K Notes, To Do List, Pair Contacts, Calendar. Let's go ahead and open up the calendar. So you've got a pretty theme centric calendar that pops up. We'll go ahead and close out of that. Cheese, Gwynview, Maps. Mail. Wonder what mail app it comes with. And it is Kmail being built with KDE, so that's a good smart move. Kmail is a good app out of the box and takes some customizing, but you can get it to look exactly how you want it. You can add as many different accounts as you have. It is very, very customizable. So we'll close out of Kmail. P message, Epiphany, we already looked at. Launchpad and files. Let's go ahead and open up the file manager. And if they're sticking with the theme of everything, no, they're not. KDE usually comes with Dolphin File Manager, but they're actually using files. And it's version 3.36.3 stable. You got your usual suspects over here. They're locked in place. You can't move them. And then you got your standard folders right here. It's still a good looking theme. I like it. So let's close out of that. And let's go to Launchpad. Out of the box, you get Arc, Calendar, obviously, Document Viewer, Files. Firefox Browser is included, so if you want to pull Epiphany off of the dock, you can. But I'm going to say Firefox is not going to look like a Safari clone. 
and it's not, you get regular Firefox. So that way you can still use Firefox and get rid of Epiphany if you want to. Or maybe you're somebody that likes Epiphany, you can stick right along with it. Then we come down here, you've got Gpatter, Gwynview, Info Center. Let's look at Info Center. System Info, you're running KDE Plasma 5.21.2, KDE Frameworks version 5.79, kernel version 5.10. That is an old kernel. Being based on Ubuntu, that's obvious because kernel 5.14 just came out yesterday. And to get this to boot up, I had to issue it four processors and three gigabytes of RAM. So I couldn't use it on my regular two and two. So we'll close out of that. Input method, install, kcalc, pair store, pair contacts, console. Let's see if they've got htop installed. No, they don't. Let's see if they have top. And they do have top. Like I said, I've issued this machine three gigabytes of RAM. At rest, with terminal open, you're at 1.6 gigabytes of RAM used out of three. That is heavy. My regular KDE Manjaro rests at about seven to 800 megabytes. This is double that. So this is definitely a resource hungry operating system. So let's go ahead and close back out of that. Back over to Launchpad. Then you got Peery, Ptune, Software Update, Web, To Do, Theme Switcher, System Settings, Spectacle. Guys, I'm not going to waste too much time on this. It's a Linux operating system based on Ubuntu. So you know it's going to be pretty solid, pretty stable. I like the look of it. I really do. It's a pretty operating system. Honestly, though, I just did a review on Cutefish OS Beta 0.4.2. It's just as beautiful, if not more beautiful than this. But if I were going to use something, I'm going to use something that doesn't eat my resources up just to be present on my desktop. 1.6 gigabytes of RAM just to be in the desktop. To me, it just eats up too many resources, but if you're out there and this is something that you like, you like this look, you like the Apple ecosystem, you like the Apple theme, by all means, run over to their website, download it, throw it on a USB, put it in a virtual machine and play with it. If you're going to put it in a virtual machine, make sure you run probably four CPUs, and I would probably bump it up and put four gigabytes of RAM in it so you can kind of get a better feel of it because I do have a little bit of lagginess in VirtualBox, but I think if I issued it more RAM, it would be a little better. Tell me what you think of ParaOS down in the comments. Before you leave today, do me a favor. Please like, subscribe, or follow my channel. It doesn't cost anything, and at the end of the day, if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. And if you want to follow me on my socials, or better yet, become a patron to the channel, that link is down below as well. Thank you for watching my video, and I will see you in the next video.